right, guys, it's time for another football fundamental video, and you guys seem to have really been enjoying these. I will ask if you are, make sure you're sharing this out on Facebook, Twitter, any form of social media, wherever. Show them to your friends, your baby mama, your daddy, your boss, or even your sister, because your sister likes football too, and we want to have fun. And I know these are mostly Saints videos, but we'll be incorporating other teams, mainly, though, to help educate and let people learn a little bit more about the game that we all know and love called football. Today, we're going to be looking at the mesh concept, and this is a variation of it. So this isn't as clean as you normally see it, but I, I really like this because of, one, I, I love its simplicity. It's one of those where you can see after you watch this video, you go back and watch games, you're like, man, I, I recognize that. And, and you will immediately go, that's a mesh concept. You're going to start calling it that. I'm going to see people on Twitter just saying mesh concept for no reason. It's like, oh, man, and yada yada runs a mesh concept, and it works so well, and then Mike Leach ran it, and everybody's going to be all educated, and it's going to be a wonderful thing. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, start talking about this. You know, as usual, we're going to refer to Inside the Pylon, great people and phenomenal work they do over there. You guys know that I'm a visual type person, and a lot of you out there are as well, so we're going to read about it. And then we'll talk about it on tape. So the mesh concept is a staple of the air raid offense. And a lot of people have heard about West Coast offenses. You've heard about Air Coriel, heard about spread. Well, air raid is simply another um, offensive scheme and offensive system that exists. And a lot of these concepts get picked in and put into other different offenses. It's all a big gumbo, man. There's not just one team that runs nothing but West Coast style. But dating back to the days of Lavelle Edwards at BYU, refined over the years by Kutchus, Coaches, coaches such as Washington State's head coach Mike Leach, really interesting dude. As described by Leach in the 2014 coaching clinic, the mesh play is a simple crossing pattern, which BYU under Lavelle Edwards ran for two decades, and we are famous for that type of play. The basic design of the mesh concept involves two receivers crossing underneath at a mesh point over the middle, and the offense then incorporates additional elements on the outside to further stretch the defense. And when I say this is a little bit different, I like to at times throw in wrinkles of, of plays, which I probably shouldn't if I'm doing educational videos. I should stick to really concrete examples of what is and isn't a play. And maybe uh, I'll show you guys a couple examples that actually ITP provides a little bit later. But what makes this a unique one for the Saints that we're going to look at, it's going to be against the Washington Redskins back in week 11 of 2017 season, fourth quarter, two-minute drill on their own 18. They're down by eight. So it's one of those plays where you've got to get yardage, you, but you also got to find a way to get to the sidelines. But you, you'll look, and, and defense will prepare for this. So, I mean, you can't just target the sidelines on nothing but corner routes and stuff and out routes on these digs because they'll start covering those. So you still got to find ways to attack the center and draw towards that sideline. And this is one of the reasons I love this play. And it is great against man defense. So let's watch it in full speed. Then we'll talk about it. And you'll see him hit, bam, right there. Michael Thomas over the middle. He's going to make a man miss. He's going to get out of bounds. Big first down and saves a lot of clock. How did it work? Now, one of the things I said this is going to be a little bit of wrinkle is you're going to have the tight end right here. So on a pure, like, traditional – and let me see if I can pull this up so you guys can see it. do, do, do. do. Okay, so like right here, you can see in the background, let me get rid of that zero. This is one of the outlines that inside the pylon has provided that, you know, of what it looks like. And you can see just a straight cross from both sides here, the, that being these two. And then you have a little comeback right here on the outside, a post route, and then a wheel route out of the backfield. So the difference here is you're going to see Josh Hill, the tight end, almost uh, go a little bit taller and almost run a post. And what you're going to do is you're going to have Michael Thomas come underneath. And they're still going to be crossing. They're still going to be going overlapping, creating that difference. And then you're going to have the deep here. And these are basically clear routes. And then out of the backfield, you have Alvin Kamara go hit this flat right here. And there's my John Madden squiggles that makes everything so confusing that you can't tell what's happening. So let's go forward a little bit. All right, so you see right off the line, we're doing immediate cross where Josh Hill's getting a little bit deeper. So your top guy of this, you want to have a high-low read here, and you want to get him a little bit deeper. But instead of him cutting straight across, he's going to carry up a little bit more at an angle, kind of going in here wishy-washy. And I love getting crazy with this pen. Uh, it just makes me feel important. So you're going to cross underneath here. So what's the point of this, you might ask? Well, the point of the two crossers, especially against man coverage, is to create, one, a lot of times a natural rub, which makes it more difficult to follow, and also because it's confusing for a defense, because a lot of times defenses will try to pass off coverages, especially in, in types of situations where they're mismatched. So you look at the linebacker here. This is a tough matchup for him to cover Michael Thomas crossing the field. 
And you look right here, the DB is eyeing Alvin Kamara. This, 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 where we got man coverage all over the place. And you'll see this linebacker is actually going to pass off to the safety. Another thing, let's move it forward a little bit more. So you see it starting. One thing that with him vacating this side and crossing, I love that Sean Payton is filling that spot with Alvin Kamara. So he's still attacking this flat, which puts these defenders in, and we talked about this word last time, it's a different situation, but conflict. So these guys are put in conflict, and now they have to make sure they're on the right man and protecting the assignment. Because if both start following Michael Thomas, the flat's wide open. If nobody follows Michael Thomas, Michael Thomas is wide open. And that's what you get here. You get a little bit of hesitation that Alvin Kamara provides because he's such a threat. MT's a threat in his own right, but it's one of those things you get so many weapons, it's so difficult to cover everybody. Now you see at the bottom of your screen, the clear outs are working very well. You got the deep post and the fade. For the most part, these guys really aren't even contention, even though they're flying deep. Their main job is to take these two players and push them back 10, 15 yards. And see what it did is it opened up all this field. So now Michael Thomas, who catches it over the middle at that mesh point we're talking about, easy peasy running across the field. And he just makes a great play. And let's look at it from this angle and how difficult it can be for the linebackers to cover this. All right, so you see the deep uh, take we're having right here. And that's actually Kobe Fleener. I'm sorry, Kobe Fleener for calling you Josh Hill. And then you see him coming through, and then you see Kamara, who's going to drop off here in the flats. So you can immediately see the burden this is going to place because this route is taking this linebacker out of the way, which means he is then, in theory, running towards an open part of the field. And unless you cover him well and you get caught flat-footed right there, that's it. It's over. And this is easy pitch and catch. And this is what the mesh concept can provide for you is it takes that man coverage and makes your guys have to do really, really good job of defending and sticking with your man, or else you open up massive chunks of field because of the concepts you've written with. So because you've got this deep post and you've got this flare route, this go route, all this is going to be wide open. Now, the opposite is also true. So let's say these defenders carry Michael Thomas across the field. You know, and you have this DB who follows him across, and you see this a lot, whereas the corner has the responsibility on the split end to carry him. Well, that means Alvin Kamara probably is open here in the flat, and he's able to get to the sideline on a similar type move and a similar type play. I want to go back to just the inside of the pylon play real quick, and I want to give you guys another example. So I want you to watch this play as it goes through, and this is um, WSU and Cal. Mark Schofield provides this. Just watch as it crosses. And there's your basic mesh concept. So the difference here is you see how that second receiver kind of sat and there was a natural little rub there. Then they turn up field. And that doesn't necessarily <laughs> go to plan there. But uh, a little improv improvisation never killed anybody. But I think that that's one of the things that makes this place so unique, this concept so nice, is it really stresses the man protections that you'll see a lot of teams have to run. So, you know, there's ways to beat zones. There's zone beaters. That's one of my favorite ways to beat man, a man beater. Let's read through it one more time. You guys know I like to read through these things. Mesh concept. Mesh concept is a staple of the air raid offense dating back to the days of Lavelle Edwards at BYU and refined over the years by head coach Mike Leach. As described by Leach in the 2014 coaching clinic, the mesh play is a simple crossing pattern, which BYU under Lavelle Edwards ran for two decades, and that Mike Leach has become famous for. The basic design of the mesh concept involves two receivers crossing underneath at a mesh point over the middle, and the offense can then incorporate additional elements on the outside to further stretch a defense. Like I said, really effective play. One of my favorite little concepts I could get thrown in there. Absolutely love it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please remember, if you enjoyed it, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you're saying. Put it out in the comments. Let us know what type of thing you'd like to learn about more. And also, if you really enjoy the show, you can donate through Patreon or PayPal to help make more of these actually happen, make more of this content come out. Because time is money, and if we want to have time to make it, we got to be able to uh, make time. A lot of times that means taking off a little bit from the day job. But that's okay because we uh, absolutely love doing it. If you'd like to support Patreon or PayPal, those links are in the description. You can do it as five bucks a month, man, or lady, whoever you are. doesn't matter. We'll catch you on the next one. Hope you've enjoyed it. Peace out. A-Town down. A-Town going down. We hate Atlanta around here. We'll